Hi there, it's Leslie. I'm here with a full moon releasing guided meditation for you, as well as a little guidance on how to do a quick ritual too. So, they're, and they're kind of related. Um, first, I just want to share, I am living into one of my new credos that I got from this amazingly powerful coach and speaker. That is called, my, the credo is, not perfect, just committed. Not perfect, just committed. So for those of you that are recovering perfectionists, like myself, this is about just doing it without letting the perfection stop you. Okay, so that's why I'm in my little dog walking clothes. I'm back from a morning dog walk and workout and I wanted to get this video shot and this is the best time for me to do it today. So here I am and bear with my little sweaty hair and, <laughs> and look. So um, yeah, I really invite you, if you relate to that, to you know think about okay, what, what, where do I get all perfectionistic or, you know, procrastination is part of that too. And really think about, okay, if I just keep my eyes on the commitment that I want to make, um, you know, kind of, I was going to say, you know, my eyes on the North star, like what's my, what's my guiding North star? You know, what do I want to complete? What do I, what do I want to commit to? And then really just continue to remind yourself, okay, it's not about perfect. It's just about committed. Like, let me stay committed to complete X or committed to this, you know, commitment. And, and then just let that kind of free you. Because it does two things. It, it, it lets you complete things and it gives you this freedom. Um, and it just makes, which makes it more fun. So with that said, I want you to grab a pen and paper so you can, or pencil, and so you can pause this. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. And oh, and I just wanna remind you, if you didn't catch it in the email, I am offering a deeply discounted single session with me. I really actually don't do single sessions anymore with clients, but um, a single session that is around intuitive coaching and setting you up for success with, uh, it couldn't be around this topic about what do you wanna let go of as you step into 2017. Um, so it's just something I really just kind of came to me this morning and wanna offer it and you just need to go on the link for the online scheduler and you wanna book it for, or by next Friday, so by the 23rd. So you'll see all the details in the email. Um, okay, so I'd like you to just, you know, pause this or you know wait until you are in a place where you can just have some quiet for five or ten minutes um oh here comes indy my dog <laughs> um where you can just have some quiet and um think about what has been going on for you in 2016. we have been in a universal nine year hey sweetie <laughs> she wants to come in and, and join us um, we've been in a universal nine year and what that means is we are going through this big completion of a cycle that started in 20 in 2008 so if you think about what are some of the themes and what have been the life experiences uh, of, of my life since 2008 and um, because next year in 2017 we're starting a whole new one universal year and and you can google that you know I'm, I'm not an expert on this so I google these things um, but I've been feeling it for sure energetically so a one year is personal new beginnings and momentum and and you can find out more if you just research that but um this is a really powerful time you know we're not just in December we're in the holiday season, which can, I know, bring up a lot of stuff, but we've really just been experiencing, you know, just kind of this big buildup and this, and this um, culmination of the final bits and pieces of, of a nine-year cycle. So I invite you to just write down what, what am I ready to let go of? And I, I want you to think about you know, if you have experienced loss this year, whether it's, you know, relationship, there's been so many relationship shifts, work, um, other health, just whatever's been up for you, 
think about what what do I still need to release? You know, what is still, what do I know intuitively is in my way? And one of my intuitive teachers and mentors that I've had that's been a real powerful influence in my life used to teach um, first thought, best thought. So just go with what you come up with first, write it down, okay? And you can also think about what are, um, what are, this is really powerful, and I hear part of this new moon, is what, what's, the, um, what's the thinking I've had? What are the beliefs that I've been holding on to and letting lead my life? Because, you know, a belief is just a thought that's been repeated over and over until it's become a groove uh, for you. And, um, and our beliefs are what we end up living out. So. Um, you can also just kind of reverse engineer this in terms of thinking about something that you really have, you know, just in your heart that you really want to create an experience. And then what do you know in how you approach it, a perspective you hold, a perception you have around the situation or belief that is not serving you around it. So for instance, say you want to go for um, a new job and you might hold a belief and this is something true I had in a conversation with a woman recently you might have a belief that you're too old to make the change to or maybe you're changing industries or you're going for a you know launching a dream of a business for yourself and so but you know that you have you know the story that you keep talking about in, internally in your inner dialogue like God, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm too old for this, maybe I'm too old. So that is something that you are definitely going to want to let go of and create a new belief um, that supports what you want to create. You know, so um, that's one example. Okay, so I want you to just pause this and write down your list of things that you want to release and let go of and uh, give you a second to do that as I pet Indy. <laughs> she has a little bed, as you can see. This is my little office creative room. Um, it's not really my office. I actually work off of my dining room table. <laughs> this became my office. Um, I had to let go of when I moved in here that my big white desk that I was in love with didn't fit properly for me to have an this in office. So I had to do a little, I had to do a shift and it actually was exactly what has served me so well and delighted me. So just as an aside, <laughs> sometimes we get in our own way too with the physical stuff. Like, I want this to fit. I want this room to be a certain way and it's just not meant to be. Okay, so you've got your list. So before we get into the guided meditation, what you're gonna do for the full moon ritual is you're basically just gonna destroy this. Um, there's such a power in ritual and I do releasing ceremonies. I've always done releasing ceremonies since I started coaching clients back in 2008 um, and they're so powerful so here's what you do there you just you basically can just rip up the uh, paper uh, and and or you can burn it and burning is really powerful um, so I just want you to destroy this list and let that be kind of a, a symbol that you really truly are releasing this to the universe. You're surrendering this over to the universe, okay? So that's the, that's the ritual. Okay, so what I'm just looking at my notes. So what I'd like us to do now is just to get into this. This is gonna be a pretty short guided meditation. I'm seeing this video is already getting a little longer than I expected, I'm being chatty. So um, I'd like you to set yourself up for success with this. So you wanna be in a place where it's quiet and you're going to be undisturbed. Make sure all your devices are off. And if you can, just sit with your feet on the floor so you're in kind of a upright position. And I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to walk this, walk you through this. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we're comfortable and relaxed. And we start by closing our eyes. We start to take some belly breaths. So start to take some belly breaths. 
from your belly. And if this is new for you, or if it's hard for you to like get into some deeper breathing, then I always tell clients, just put a, a hand on your belly. And that helps you to really also sense how deeply you're breathing. You wanna just breathe into your hand, okay? So we're gonna take some belly breaths. Take a couple and exhale. And now I'd like you to imagine that you have a golden cord and it's gonna connect from the base of your spine or your tailbone. And the other end is going to connect down into the center of the earth and you can imagine a crystal or something, a big, a big anchor that's on the, uh, this other end and it drops down into the center of the earth. This is your grounding cord. And you can just keep breathing through all of this. Okay, so you've got your grounding cord into the center of the earth and you can now start to feel through the bottoms of your feet, the earth energy coming up through your feet, up through your legs, and it just cycles back through down into the grounding cord through your tailbone and back down. And this is called running earth energy. So just imagine this, just postulate it in your mind if you know you, oh, <laughs> India really wants to get in on this. So, um, so you've got the uh, grounding cord and you're running your earth energy. And then I'd like you to imagine universal energy, cosmic energy coming in through the top of the crown of your head, through the back of your head and down through the back of your spine and it cycles all the way down through the back of your spine to your tailbone and then it circles back up through the front of you. Just giving you that visualization again, don't overthink it. Just imagine and know that now you've called in this earth and now cosmic energy and it's cycling through your system. Keeping your eyes closed and continuing to breathe. Now I'd like you to imagine a bubble and it's five feet out in front of you. Okay, so imagine this big bubble five feet out in front of you and I want you to just now send your intention, all that you wrote down on the list that you're letting go of, I want you to put it all in that bubble. And if you weren't clear and you didn't write it down, just intend it now, just invite the things that you are ready to release, especially any of your internal thinking, old beliefs, just anything that feels like stuck energy that's been weighing you down or in the way of something that you really desire to be experiencing and to create in your life. Just put it all into the bubble. Just trust that what you need to know from this releasing is coming to you and it's being created. Put it all in the bubble. And now I'd like you to destroy the bubble so you can imagine just a pin prick, pricking it. You could put some dynamite underneath the bubble and blow it up if you like. Just pop the bubble, destroy the bubble, and send all that out into the universe and out of you and out of your space. Beautiful. Okay, keep breathing. And now I'd like you to imagine a big, beautiful, yellow, golden sun above your head. And what I'd like you to do, and imagine it about three feet above your head. And what you're going to do is you're gonna call back your energy from anything that you've, any place you've had it, any relationship, any exchange that you have, might have had this year, anything where you feel like you've maybe overgiven, just call back your energy from projects, from people, from experiences, anything where your energy might still be kind of plugged in. And I want you just to imagine that the sun is collecting it all back up. 
keep breathing. You're doing great. And just see that sun grow brighter above your head as all your energy gets replenished back into the sun. And just trust and feel safe that it's okay to you know, release what you're releasing and it's okay to call back your energy and that you're safe to do all of this. And now I'd like you to see that sun grow brighter and now bring that sun down into you starting with the top of your head and crown of your head and just watch it melt into this beautiful golden liquid light and start filling yourself up with this sun and your own energy. Start with your crown and start to bring it all the way down through your eyes, through your neck, down through your shoulders, through your torso, and down into your hips, down into your legs, all the way through your calves, your ankles, your feet, out through the toes, the tips of your toes. And also notice that this golden sun now fills up all the space around you, what we call the aura. And just watch it fill in about two feet out from all sides of you. And then it fills all the way down below your feet, about two feet. So you have this whole big golden bubble around you of your own energy and healing energy from the universe. Beautiful. And keep breathing. And just as we wrap this meditation up, I would just send yourself some love. You can imagine yourself as a baby or a little girl, just imagine, you know, just whatever first thought, best thought, whatever age you are, and see yourself as this younger part of you that's also ready for this release and she's ready for more um, love. And so just, you know, put her on your lap or hold her if she's a baby. Just give her a hug, give her a kiss. Let her know that you're now giving her some attention too. You haven't forgotten her, so easy to forget. And that it's safe for you to move forward now, releasing what you're releasing, giving yourself back your own energy and focus. And when you're ready, you can take a deep breath and open your eyes. Great job. Indy came in on this too. <laughs> So I hope that you were still able to um, complete this meditation for yourself. You can go back. Sending you lots of love. Happy holidays. I'll be in touch soon. Bye.